I think I might have to resolve some of the local political problems if I want to get that uh, Native American character out of her jail cell. Ah! Uh, probably could have asked the sheriff type dude about it, or whatever you want to call him, the guy on the wall. For now, let's go down here. Alright, we're now underground. Gonna be looking for solutions near. Oh, that's blood. That's not good news for them. What the hell has the strength to do something like this? Is that someone's foot? Did they get attacked by monsters? Huh. He was left-handed. Or maybe it was the other guy. So someone just got murdered all to hell. Switch to my melee character to keep them in front for now. How are we doing around here? Oh. These poor saps didn't even get the chance to stand up from their evening can of beans before being cut down. This guy looks like he was a tough customer. Now he's in four pieces and chunks of him are sliced like deli meat. Alright, so something bad's gonna be around here, so it's a good thing I saved recently. Hello, stuff. Around the latch you notice a few stray wires for an explosive booby trap. Is that the, is that the explosive? It looks like a landmine was buried here. Alright, well... I know just the guy to investigate. Come on. Where's my explosive trick again? There it is. Demolition, 70%. Come on, Purnell. Don't screw me on this, buddy. Yeah, critical success. I don't even know what that means in that context. But I, I'm so badass. Alright, open it up. It's also locked. So of course it is. Alright, what about the- Ooh! Shit. I was gonna look at it. That was my bad. I should have just gone straight to the wheel, huh? Oh well, well that happened. That was embarrassing. See if you can beat it open now that the explosives explosive's gone. I believe in you. Also, that was a low success rate. Yeah. Yep, I hurt my leg again. Mangled meta tarsals effect? That doesn't sound good at all. Minus two brute feet uh brute force. Minus one feed, uh, speed. You have flat feet now, depressingly, cartoonishly, painfully flat. Maybe you're moved with appropriate item or by real, do or by a real doctor. All right, so that'll be there for like five minutes. That uh, we'll just deal with that for a while. Hello. The symbol is not like the others. It was stenciled rather than painted. It looks like two hands worshiping a printed circuit. Huh. Right, so we'll need to find- we need to get a lockpicking skill to open that up. The muck is ankle deep. Yuck. Yeah, right over my broken ankles. Oh, that tunnel only probably leads to the monster. Anything else around here to look at? Uh, the guano smells so terrible it could make you go batshit crazy. Also, there's something else up here. Once this was a red scorpion hideout. You can see the bed rolls and the charred wood of a campfire, as well as their graffiti on the wall and a small radio set in one corner. Now it's a slaughterhouse. The dismembered limbs and torsos of three, maybe four, red scorpion militiamen are scattered around like toys flung by an angry child, and their blood paints the cave walls, floor, even the ceiling. Whatever did this had inhuman strength, and it doesn't look like the scorpions gave up without a fight. There are empty shell casings and bullet holes everywhere. Is there a reason to collect the guano? Yep, bad shit. Learned person might call this guano. It's worth a dollar. It is worth a dollar. That's my logic here. I just accidentally shrunk that thing, didn't I? How do I change its size again? There we go. Right, right stick. Had to remind myself a little bit. Go ahead and lock that. Hello, corpses. How you guys doing? I, I must know your secrets. Is that an eyeball? Whose head is that? More guano? It's all mine! I need every scrap I can earn. Ooh, a corpse. Scorpion key. Ooh. I bet that opens up that chest over there that I tried to hurt myself. Oh, or maybe, or maybe this one. Whatever killed the scorpions, it didn't look like it was interested in loot. There's no marks on the safe to suggest that anyone tried to force it open. Were the scorpions using the safe? If so, then maybe the site is more permanent than it appears. Can I open it? It's locked. Alright, but what about the key? Safe cracking. 
So the key must be for something else then. Apparently. Alright. Maybe it's for the other chest. Got stuck behind a chair. That chair is impassable. You have to go around. Alright, let's see what... Oh, yep, use the scorpion key. We did it! It's a miracle! Congratulations, me, for all my accomplishments. Uh, 43 scrap, damn. And a grenade. Heavy weapons. This, the people's pineapple. Okay, so that's that means I want to give it to Gus, then. Because it counts as a heavy weapon. Did not know that grenades would be in the same category. So, thro so throwing heavy weapons also are in the same category as the big heavy weapons. Looking at that doesn't make your stomach feel very good. It is a corpse. Probably got really savaged. Alright. Quick save. What are we walking into here? A lifeless robot, seven foot tall with metal and plastic legs, arms, torso, and head. Lies in pieces at the very end of this tunnel. It wasn't torn apart, it was blown apart. There are blast marks on its metal parts, and its plastic skin is melted. The robot must have stepped on some kind of landmine as he entered the tunnel. Could there be more? There could be more. Let's have perceptive character move first. Look, uh, looking into this thing, this dead thing's eyes give you the he serious heebie-jeebies. Lodged inside the chest cavity, you notice a cylindrical object giving off a faint blue glow. Might be a power source? It'll take some advanced knowledge of electrical engineering, but you might be able to retrieve it. Uh, we could try this character. You're, you have mechanical something? Oh, it has to be computer science. Alright, we have one computer science character. Zero percent. Alright, it's not going to do me much good. But I could be a field medic to someone nearby. Alright. We're just going to carefully creep in here and hopefully not die. A tunnel made out of... Uh, uh, a tunnel made out of an outflow pipe. Flickering light bulbs are strung along the top of the pipe. The bottom is floored with a layer of dirt and trash. Scary Sally is no longer afflicted by mangled metas or whatever word means. Looks like a landmine was buried here. Alright. Let's go over here. And very careful. 85%, that's pretty good. No five damage happening today, unless this doesn't work out for me. Failure. At least it wasn't a critical failure. I'm really impressed by how terrible my rolls are, apparently. I've done so many rolls where it's like, yeah, that'll probably work, and it's like, nope. There we go. I held my breath a little bit there. Let's take it slow. In case we discover something on our way in. Be our perceptive character. I think that's how that works. He goes first. Hey, there's a chest. This toaster is needed repairs. Damn it, game. <laughs> that's the end of the hallway? As if, as if to taunt me? A massive pile of debris has accumulated at the airlock end of the outflow pipe. You have to find another way to, around if you want to pass. Well, we're not getting out of here, apparently. So, whatever happened here... If there were any survivors... What's that say? Landmine has been disarmed. Oh, okay, I didn't pick it up or anything? Okay. Examine. What's that? An arm and a leg have the same smooth plastic... As the towering robot you found at the a as a uh, where Ace was killed, are they related? That's the same. That's the same robot as before. All right, let's get out of here. This seems to just be a cool little secret area with some side content, maybe a few loot items. But I can't repair that toaster until I get toaster repairing skill. That's the second toaster we've found in High Pool so far. If you can't, the first one was over next to the where we found the dowry. So if I gave someone some toaster repairing skills, they could open these. I've heard they're, they're the game's equivalent of like epic loot chests, like there might be really valuable, cool stuff inside them, or like stuff that you could, might be able to trade for something good. I did not invest in that point, that, that uh, skill point yet, though. And I'm looking to spend points on other things for now. Unless I want to change my mind. Let's see here. I was saving points for my gun character. I could go into toaster repair if I wanted to. 
It would just involve waiting an extra level for my cool shooting skill. I don't know if I want to do that. You know what? If I want to do toaster repair, I could always come back later. Assuming this place doesn't suddenly burn to the ground or something midway through our campaign. I could always just come at a later date for my repair skills. Alright. Let's go into the uh, the alternate entrance to the underground area. Oh, chickens. Is this a whole area? I never checked this whole area out, did I? Alright, actually, let's talk to... Sheriff Dude to see if I can ask him to let... Uh, I don't want no trouble, Rangers. I don't want no trouble either. James Boonteen. Don't piss me off, Rangers. Alright, well, I'm just gonna run around and... Oh, man. They, they, they give you the option to shovel their graves. I don't see that ending well, frankly. Let's find our way back to the entrance. Logbook updated. Gruff, gruff, woof. Oh, it's Scaroof. Let's use the chew toy. Gustavo Molotov is using a chew toy. Come on, let's be cooperative and nice. Yay, now placate the chipper pup pads at your heels. He's following me around. Alright. We're doing multiple things. Dog's following me around. I'll follow this wall a little bit. The sewer tunnel's closed off by what looks like a hatch from a submarine. The High Poodlians must use a crane to get it open, so there's no way you could manage it, even with the high explosives. Uh, that's the crane controls. So I want to see if we can, uh, get him to release the Native American. The wrecking crew are still out there, Rangers. And our irrigation system's still busted. Am I gonna have to call the Red Scorpions? Go on, then. Remind us why we agreed to your protection. Alright, well, he doesn't have any useful feedback for me. But my approach in this direction get uh... Help me find the dog I was kind well, not really looking for. The dog I was aware of probably wanting to find. <laughs> so we'll, we'll follow this wall for a little bit to see if I've missed stuff in this direction. Townie, if you want to make yourself useful, go down the cistern and fix our, fix our irrigation system. Which is that door right there. Alright, so now I've made the full loop around the walls. I never even missed the- I never even saw the dog before. Hello. Any sign of my dog rangers? Um... Did we lose the dog? Oh, no, he's here now. Groof! <laughs> Seeing his beloved master, Groof trots away. He looks back over his shoulder at you, his eyes somehow twinkling with gratitude. <laughs> rangers, you found her! You're the best! I'd always heard you were dog killers, but it turns out you're dog helpers. Aw, come here, Guru. Who's the best girl? Who is it? It's you. I'm so happy that you have Guru back. I'm going to tell everyone how you helped reunite us. Alright, maybe people have a better opinion of us in general, and will not be so shitty all the time. Copy, Echo One. Congratulations, Echo oh. One. You've done well. Guess who accidentally skipped a freaking tutorial because I was skipping that dialogue because it's always the same dialogue every time. Alright. It's not a new skill point, that's for sure. Alright, well something happened. Six skill points. Am I... Maybe the tutorial was just going to tell me that I'm getting more skill points per level now? Oh wait, no, I was, I was already going to get this many. It's five more than before when I had like three or something. I don't know. Whatever. Something something happened. Uh, if I if I look at the recording, I can freeze frame on that one moment and find out what the tutorial was about later. <laughs> so I have six points. I can increase either of these. I can go deeper into shotguns or computer science or toaster repair. <laughs> Let's start lock picking. Let's get some of these versatile skills started for now. Let's see. Computer science rank two has something. That's interesting. So does Toaster Repair Rank 2. Let's see. Computer Science Rank 2. Cyborg Scrounger. Toaster Repair Rank 2. Junk Diver. Uh, I'll leave them unassigned for the moment just to see what those are. Uh, oh shit. I already forgot what it was called. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh! Interface. Alright. Cyber and Junk. Alright. Cyber Junk. Cyber Junk. Cyber is... 
Cyber scrounger gain energy cells when using computer science and alarm disarming. All right. Other one is junk. Junk diver. Upon finding a junk item, 50% chance of finding another junk item. Extra money. Oh, that's kind of neat. Alternatively, I could put another point into an actual combat skill though, for example. Going deeper into shotguns for more usefulness. Animal Whisperer, Barter, Brute Force. So do I want any of these necessarily? Smartass might be a decent option just to, just cause it's not, oh duh. Let's grab Weaponsmithing, like right away. Maybe even rank two. Let's see, Tinkerer is what I get for that. Uh, Tinkerer is a skill that does something. Should have started from the bottom, because T is closer to the bottom of the alphabet, but I've already made this mistake. Come on. Tinkerer. One more action point when wearing light armor. Whoa. That's a big deal. A bonus action point. Those aren't easy to get. Alright, well, I'll go for that. Alright, so that's weaponsmithing. Do I want to go for locksmithing or... Or freaking, <laughs> or freaking toasters. Um, I'm gonna go with lock picking just because we encounter enough locked things that I don't have the ability to open. Oh, it is a bummer that safe cracking is its own thing. You know what? I'm going with toasters. It's just really tempting. <laughs> Points committed. That happened. All right, now I have shotgun skills. I have weaponsmithing skills. So now I could add that one thing to that weapon I have. So let's switch to Scary Sally. Send these things over to her. I have to take the weapon off. Unequip. Send that over. And then I can use. Let's see. It's one of these, right? Nope. Probably don't have to do it from that screen at all. It's probably the wrong. So it's probably just right here. Mods. I can add a grip. Requires one weapon smithing. Minus one attack AP. That's awesome. Alright. We're good. You sure want to apply a grip tape to the barbed wire bat? Yes. Sweet. All right, barbed wire bat, you are all set to be more badass. We're actually really significantly improving the quality of this party for combat purposes over the course of a relatively short amount of time between combat. This has been a good series of non-combat episodes where everyone's improving, and I'm doing some good stuff for the community, so they'll hopefully not be mad at me. See? I'm doing good things about dogs. I'm not executing them like you think I do because of that story you have about an old ranger. All right, let's go into the cistern and meet our our other hopeful. All right, other mayoral candidate. What can I do to help out around here? Whoa, she's got my face. She stole my face. I gotta change characters just to stop getting freaked out by that. An attractive young woman in maintenance overalls, though thoroughly panicked at the moment, uh, sweat plasters her hair to her forehead and her hands shake with fear. It, it's hopeless. I can't fix it in time. We're ruined. Who's there? Wreckers. Please don't kill. Oh, Rangers. You're here. Finally, some good news. I knew you'd show up. I knew Bergen was wrong about you. And you must have chased off those Wreckers or you wouldn't be down here. Well, that's Crisis 1 solved anyway. Only Crisis 2 and Crisis 3 to go. Hey, someone actually is happy to see... Uh... Rangers for once. Alright. How do you feel about Desert Rangers? No time for questions. We'll talk once I fix the system. Bergen? Bergen's good at his job, but I don't think he'd make a good mayor. He's got no diplomacy. People kind of hate him as soon as they meet him. And he's so twisted up about the Rangers that he wants us to start asking the Red Scorpions for protection instead. I can't let that happen. Those guys are gangsters, plain and simple. Yeah, that seems just about applicable. Wait a minute. 
She's wearing the face of one of my party members and the skirt of the other one. I'm getting freaked out here. All right, what's crisis two? Crisis number two is the rest of the wrecking crew. They're like weeds. If you don't tear them out by the roots, they'll come back stronger than ever. I've been asking Ranger Citadel for months to find their camp and get rid of them, and nothing ever gets done. If you want us to keep sending you water, you gotta get these guys off our back. Permanently. But that'll have to wait until Crisis 3 is sorted out. And Crisis 3? Crisis 3 is right here and right now. I should be up top at the moment, trying to convince everybody to make me the new mayor. But our irrigation system is about to blow sky high. Loading's gotta wait. Otherwise, High Pool is going straight down the drain. Those damn wreckers lobbed a bomb over the wall that shook up our irrigation system and busted the pressure regulator. It also shorted out half of our electrical system, and we've only got enough juice to keep a few lights on at a time. Killed the radio, too. Their name, Wreckers, seems pretty applicable at the moment. I'm using the backup system to let off some of the pressure, but it's building too fast. If something isn't done very soon, we'll lose all our water and all our topsoil in one big bang. Are you here to help? Alright. I might as well help, but let's follow up on the, uh... When did the trouble with the, wreck the wrecking crew start? Or when did the trouble with the wrecking crew start? No time for questions. We'll talk once I fix the system. Oh, fine. What happened to the mayor? Poor Mayor Vickstrom got killed on the walls yesterday. And now we gotta vote for a new mayor. I... I don't really want to replace Vickstrom. But if I don't stand, nobody else will, and Sean Bergen will get the job. That would be a disaster. You're very selective about which questions you will and will not answer. We need to use the radio. How can we fix it? Oh, right. Mayor Vickstrom said you were coming to use the tower for some kind of experiment. He's not here anymore, but I suppose it's okay. However, the breaker flipped during a short and cut off power to the radio. Thank God I was smart enough to place it on a different generator than our lights. So it'll have enough juice for you, but someone needs to reset the breaker and flip the power back onto the radio. Pretty low priority on my list right now, but it's located in Section 6 in the middle of the complex. So what will happen to the water? If the system blows, all the water will drain out of our reservoir at once. We'll be dry for months. The whole region will go thirsty. Topsoil? When the water drains from the reservoir, it's going to flood our fields and take all our topsoil with it. Those wreckers already burned our current crops to the ground. If we lose the soil, too, we won't be able to grow our own food for years. So what do you need us to do? First, I need you to head into the complex. Look for four release valves and open them so the water can flow. Then all you have to do is come back here and open the bypass valve over there on the other side of the room. That will stabilize the pressure in the system and return things to normal. Got it? Good. You're voting now? Well, as soon as things settle down, we'll have a show of hands in the town square. If you can help me solve all these crises, I think I've got a good chance of winning. And you'll have a pro-ranger mayor here. If Bergen gets voted in, well, Highpool will be even less friendly to the Citadel than it already is. Seems like there's a relatively clear answer which one I want to win. Great. Head out and find those valves. I'll track your progress from the readouts up here. I'm guessing it's dangerous down there. Given what this game is, that's a very reflective screen. You can see the wall on it. That's interesting. All right. There's a series of 10 rooms and a bunch of valves everywhere. A steam-choked, low-ceilinged room crowded with pipes, gauges, and control panels. From somewhere within the clouds of steam, you can hear sobs of frustration. Oh. Is that her? A metal storm door trying to kick this open would result in a lot of pain and little progress. If it weren't for the medical symbols, symbols would look like some kind of cooler you take to the beach. Might I contain some he uh, some healthful items? Antibiotics. Removes old disease effect, requires surgeon skill of one. Alright. That should do me some good. Hey, it opens. That's, that's useful. Uh, the look of this place does not inspire poetry. Without full water pressure of the rest of the facility, turning this valve is a futile exercise. Get those other valves open and you're in business. Alright. There's another door over here. So that's one and two. So we're at the starting room. Those are both applicable options. I think I'll leave the door open for now, just so I can keep track of which ones I've used so far. Quick save in case we're heading into danger. I assume we are. 
Because what else do you do with this kind of environment? Thank God for top-down cameras. You don't know uh, what the machines in this room do, but they sure make a lot of noise doing it. All right. Oh, it's a what's this cockroach? All right. Semi unexpected. I feel like we got this though, especially since he's all you know pumped up. Oh, a survivor, huh? Not a fan of that prospect at all. Well, he's out of AP. How many cockroaches is that? Is there only two and they're moving three times? Nope, there's another one. Surprise, extra hidden cockroach. Oh, there's four of them. Alrighty then. I'll have a lot of AP next turn, which, which should help a bit. Alright, big guy. If you could just take a hit here. Really do me a solid... There we go. So... Nine points of damage. So it costs less AP now. I think it, it used to cost four, right? Now it's three. Not enough to make me get to spam attacks, but... Leftover AP for next turn, I guess. That'll amount to something. Let's see, he's about to go down. Let's try to crowd up on these enemies. Get some attention. Alright, you can try to finish him off real quick. Since he's so close to going down. Then switch to the other almost dead target. And miss at point blank range, like a boss as you were. Alright. Back away from the baddies a little bit. Hey healer. Oh look at this cone on the shotgun. That's slightly scary. Is that gonna hit my teammate? I don't think so. I kinda wanna see how much damage this does. It did damage alright. Alright. It's good to be getting some use out of this character for offensive reasons, because otherwise, not a whole lot going on. Not enough AP to attack, huh? That's a bummer. Oops. Ignore that. Alright, I guess I'll just run away a little bit. Uh, Hide behind Gus a little bit, maybe. Maybe that'll get me a little bit of a, a break. Because no one died, unfortunately. Everyone's like a particle away from dying. It's my mistake, really. Alright, is there a high health target? 54% Gus? You disappoint me. Come on. Make that AP count. There you go. 54. This guy's got more health, though. Nope. That's not how that's going down, apparently. Uh, we'll just end the turn there, I guess. He's gonna take a hit. Ow. Cockroaches are dangerous in sci-fi post-apocalyptic settings. Stop it. You're damaging my armor. I don't like it. Alright, Sally. It's time to squash some bugs. There we go. And, and you- Hey, and you have extra AP. You get to do two attacks. Which I guess is normal, so it's not big, big of a deal, really. Uh, we'll stop the turn here, hopefully having more bonus AP for later. No ammo, so I have to reload. Not great news, but I still get one shot. Let's see if I can finish him off. Nope! Good job, buddy. Ow. Alright. Let's make the shotgun count again. It is good to have her armed. It's a, it's a good alternative to, you know, her, having her not armed before, for sure. How much does it cost to shoot, though? Because I apparently already don't have enough. Oh, no, I have enough. No, I don't. Um, don't think I need to heal anyone at the moment, so I think I'm just going to... Can I get away? Let's just get, get a little distance so that they have to waste AP if they want to chase me. So sniping is useless at this point. Dare I switch to the heavy weapon to test that out? Alright, here's my big scary weapon. Oh, I have to reload it. Whoops. Now it's reloaded. Do I have enough AP to attack anyone? I do not. Alright, well I'm gonna go over here now. Good job, Gus. Oh, he's chasing you. That was the plan, though. Try to waste their AP so they get less actions. Leave me alone. Okay, Sally. 
Uh, you're kind of a high damage character. Let's kind of want to spend your your attack on this guy. There we go. That's some damage. All right, who has the highest hit chance? Either of you. All right, second attack. I think we're. I think. I think this is proof that my party has improved. Nah, no. works way better when you land your attack. Really, buddy? That's some astonishing missing right there. Alright, dare I even shoot this guy? So... Does... it says 7 to 9 times 7? Attack, burst fire, full auto. So... 6 AP to attack. Am I gonna hurt my teammate here? I don't know. Uh, answer is yes. Answer is yes. I thought she, she was not highlighted, so I thought we might be good. We were not. That was a terrible mistake. That was a terrible, terrible mistake. In combat, be careful about where you're firing. Firearms have a chance to hit friendly targets in their path. Or, be, or in this case, behind their paths. Oh yeah, it even says right there, miss the target and shoot your teammate. Alright. Friendly targets caught in the blast radius. Uh, yeah. That was... That's what I should have expected that to happen. But I'm testing features, you know? Testing them mechanics and shooting my friends in the face, apparently. <laughs> At least she's just unconscious, you know? She's un she's unconscious. She's at least not dead. Or even critically wounded. So she'll get back up and we'll just have to waste a healing item on her. Which is a bummer in its own right. Alright. So that was very stupid of me. No, 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 no. Sorry. Made the mis mistake of not selecting myself there. There you go, targeting yourself. Let's use that healing item, no, no, since I fucked up so bad. Uh, you don't know what the machines in this room are doing. That's the same comment as before. All right, she's healed up a bit. That was a bad call on my part to even try that. Uh, <laughs> junk cockroach antennas. Apparently it's worth ten dollars. And some crab legs, or making the legs... Uh, cockroach legs are being compared to crab legs. What all's around here? Alright, why am I, am I all glowy? Oh, I'm probably poisoned. Diseased. You look infected by something, or someone, if the... aches, nausea, and fever don't get you. Maybe a bullet will. Minus one strength, speed, and constitution for the next eh, few minutes. Might just wait this one out. This all looks like a dead end. So probably just mess with the computer and that's it about here. Another door over here. A reinforced personal safe with a combination lock on the swinging door. Carefully examine the safe, Scary Sally finds a working tumbler. Uh, did I give you lock picking yet? Safe cracking. No, I don't. No one has safe cracking, right? All right. Oh, right. Reload our gun. There we go. On we go. Open up for me. Can I not open this door? Um. This door does not seem to be openable. I guess I'll go back the other way. 